so the Gridly plugin is uh, just a regular Unreal plugin. Uh, I already activated it in here. Um, and you can uh, have, uh, so the first thing you should do is to set the settings. Uh, we could go to project settings, have the Gridly settings here. Yeah. Uh, right now I just uh, deleted all the keys and stuff, but uh, I can add them back in. So I created a, a new grid here for the sample project. And it's all empty right now. But uh, I already created these columns though. So these uh, have uh, the specific column ID that uh, we're going to use um, later. And we have the API keys here. So I'm just going to use this for now. And just, uh, yeah. So there are separate API keys for import and export. Uh, so what export does is that it uploads the translations that are already in Unreal to Gridly and import uh, downloads the, the stuff here and, and imports it into Unreal. And uh, the view ID here is the one that you, you can have separate view, um, view IDs for export and import. So for export, you uh, is the when you upload the translation from Unreal to or the native uh, text from Unreal to uh, Ruby, you use the export uh, ID. Uh, so you can only have one of these. Uh, but when you're importing, you can actually have several. So you can import from several different grids at the same time. So, or views at the same time. Uh, for this example, we're just going to use the same view ID for both, uh, like this. Um, and so the Gridly plugin for uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's using this um, the built-in translation system in Unreal. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing like custom or anything with it. So once you have it set up for Unreal, like um, here, um, I'm just gonna change it back to yeah. So once you have kind of uh, all your translation set up. Uh, it can gather the text from all the different packages. You're probably familiar with this already, so yeah. probably don't need to explain it. But uh, uh, yeah, so so you just press together, and you should have all the text in here. Uh, this project has already been translated, but uh, what we can do now is to, since we set up all the data here, uh, we can export it. I'm not going to explain all the options here because uh, it's uh, it's uh, mostly about how kind of the data in Unreal maps to the various columns here. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, you can look into all the different options uh, in detail if you like. Uh, for now, we are just gonna export the Gridly. So, so this one exports uh, only the native culture, which is the one we selected here. Uh, well, this one exports all of it. So we will just export all of it, I think. Yeah, number of entries updated, 29. Uh, and if you refresh this, you get everything here. Uh, mm -hmm. And now, yeah, so it's over here and you can change it how you like. Um, but uh, let's see, so, uh, so one of the things that's possible in this plugin right now is to preview while the game is running. So uh, if I have some text in, for example, French, uh, I have this text. Um, and this should also work in a build project. Um, uh, like if you send a build to a translator or something, they, they can have uh, this option in there. Uh, because uh, it's implemented as a Blueprint function. Let me see, it should be in here. Uh, yeah, so when you click the button, uh, this is just updating some UI stuff, and this is downloading localized text. So you get this back as uh, something called polyglot text data, it's a built-in Unreal data type, and uh, you update the localization preview using this data, and it updates that at the, at the runtime. Um, yeah, uh, that's uh, basically it. Uh, it's a very straightforward right now. There's not a lot of features. It's uh, mostly just about changing the strings mm. um, that are gathered here in this dashboard. 
Um, and yeah, there's one other feature uh, that we can show. It's the, the data table. Yeah. So the data table is, uh, is uh, kind of an arbitrary table that uses the U data table being in Unreal, which uh, is you first create a struct and then you create the table from that struct. So I already done that here. And it has uh, these four different columns. Uh, and these correspond to the different columns in Gridly. Uh, so if you create a new column in Gridly, I think I've already done that with this one uh, called data. Uh, and you have a view ID for this one. So if you copy this view ID and in this Gridly data table, you have a view ID here. Yeah, it was already here. Uh, yeah, you can see that these columns have the same names as here. And what that means is that you can add new entries here. Uh, and if you do uh, import, you see you get the new column here. And you can change the existing. Yeah, so this was updated to 500.